to you So you know a nigga been you hey, keep you on my side Cause you know this shit I'm into I'm sentimental I just crash Yo 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 what's up guys It's Arpa here And today's tutorial I will show you guys how to make that amazing effect Absolutely for free In the winter so The only plugins you will need Is the software and universe plugins But other than that Drop a like Drop a sub And you already know In the Fortnite item shop Please use code YOARP Since that is the best way of supporting me and by the way, I quickly just want to say that I'm making a Q&A video soon. So go down in the comment section and comment questions under the pinned comment. But basically enough talking, let's get right into the tutorial. So now I'm basically in the venture result and the first thing you want to do is to basically time wrap your clip and sync it up with the music. If you don't know how to time wrap your clip or want the exact time wrapping I use in this tutorial, then I will link amazing tutorial on that in the description. But now basically they start doing the effect. We're gonna start off by doing the build up since that is the hardest part. Basically the first thing you want to do is to just go to your shot of impact. The shot of impact is the first frame you see the damage numbers appear. So for me it's right here, this is the first frame I see the damage numbers. Basically press new clip right there and press control B. That's basically split your clip right there. Then basically from here we want to go 40 frames to the left. There are two ways of doing that. You can either just go 40 frames with your arrow keys to the left but that can take some time. So I know a much faster way. Basically press on the left part of the clip and press control D on it. Then this should pop up. Change the format to frames and change the duration to minus 40 like this then basically just press change and your clip should become exactly 40 frames shorter then basically go to where that clip ends now so for me it's right there and basically press m on your keyboard to put down the marker so you know that that's the 40th frame then you can basically drag out the clip again to the shot of impact go back to the mark we just put it down press new clip and press ctrl b now we basically know that this part we kind of cut out is exactly 40 frames long and now we can basically start doing the effect. Basically, what you want to do now is press on that middle clip we just cut out, hold alt on it and drag it two layers up like this. So we basically skipped one layer like this. That will basically just create a copy so nothing should really change. And now basically you want to just right click on that copy clip and press new compound clip and then press create. Because now we're going to actually mask out your character on this clip. That's actually really easy to do. Basically just hover over the compound clip we just created and go to the color tab and then basically inside of here press on this like circle with four dots on it and then press on this like pencil thing like this. Then basically you want to go to fast frame by dragging this red cursor all the way to the left like this and basically keyframe the correct one. Then basically you're gonna just go around your shark and basically just click around it. Pretty easy. Do this to your fast frame and I will see you guys when I'm done with my fast frame. By the way, to take away a dot, just press on the dot with your scroll wheel. So now I'm basically done with the first frame. Basically what you want to do now is you want to go frame by frame to the right with your arrow keys and basically change the dots so they are around your shark. So basically just go frame by frame with your arrow keys to the right and just create the dots. Really easy. You don't have to keyframe the correct one anymore because it will get keyframed automatically when you change something. So that's really good. But basically do this to all the frames and I'll basically see you guys when I'm done with all the frames. So now I'm basically done with all the frames. Basically what you want to do now is you want to go to nose up here. If you don't see them just press the nose up here. Right click anywhere and press add alpha output. Then basically just connect it like this and it should become transparent but you won't see that right now. Now you can basically go back to edit tab. Right click on the like mask clip that we just masked and press new compound clip and press create. And basically what you will do now is you will just right click on it and press open infusion page. Then basically in the description you should find a little draw folder. And in the school draw folder you should find a lot of presets. Basically download the preset called first clip RP. Basically just download that preset and just drag it in like this and connect it like this. When you've done that you can just go back to the edit tab. And now basically you're gonna press on this clip again that we masked and just add the preset on. Hold alt on it and drag it one layer up again like this. Then basically just hover that copy clip and go to the fusion tab now you can delete these presets because they will be there then in the single draft you should find a preset called second clip rp basically just turn that preset and drag it in like this and connect it then go back to the edit tab then once more press on your clip and hold on on it and drag it one layer up like this that should make that we have like three masked clip copies above each other but what we'll do to the file that copy clip now is basically again just hover over it and go to the fusion tab delete these presets and in single draft you should find a preset called fired clip rp basically just on that and drag it in like this basically everything the same thing just that the shark then moves at different speeds that adds that kind of like 
cool effect. Then basically go back to edit tab and now we can actually add uh, the color correction. Uh, basically how to do the color correction is on this layer you see that we skipped in the beginning. You're going to basically go to effects and drag an adjustment clip and make so the adjustment clip ends on the short of fin pack. Make sure you don't make the adjustment clip shorter because that will mess up the preset you're going to use. So basically drag the whole adjustment clip and I will tell you guys later when you can make it shorter. Basically now right click on the adjustment clip and press open in fusion page. Then in the single draft you should find a preset called CC plus pre-shake RP. Basically just down that preset and drag them like this. It's really cool in my opinion. Uh, then basically just go back to it, tab, right click on the adjustment clip and press render cache color loop it. And now we can make the adjustment clip short enough from the beginning if you want. But now we're gonna actually add the kind of zoom in. Basically how to add the zoom in is uh, again go to fix and drag in the adjustment clip and drag it above everything and again make it so it ends on the shot of impact. Drag the whole adjustment clip so you don't make it shorter. Then basically just hover the adjustment clip and go to the fusion tab. And then in single draft we'll just shoot for impress called zoom in RP. It's just done that and just drag it in like this. It's a uh, like just to transform so just connect it. Go back to edit tab, right click on the adjustment clip and press friend the cache color with and now you can make it short from the beginning if you want. And now it's basically just the impact clip there, that's basically the easiest part. You just go to effects and drag an adjustment clip, but this time you make it so it starts on the shot of impact. Again, don't make it shorter, then basically just hover over the adjustment clip and go to the fusion tab. And the single draft that you should find the preset called impact up, but basically just download that preset and just drag them like this. Pretty easy in my opinion. Then go back to edit tab, right click on the adjustment clip and press around the cache color pit. And now you can make it shorter from the end if you want. Pretty cool in my opinion, and that's basically it for today's tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please consider doing drop a like and the sub. And if you really enjoyed this tutorial, which I hope you did, then I'm sure that you will enjoy these two videos above. But basically, see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye!